Hello everybody, this is Skyflight44, aka Zex44, and today we're going to continue playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Now, what I want to go about doing right now at this very moment in time just so happens to be... Mm, Duelist Challenge. Why are we doing a Duelist Challenge? Mainly because I want to see whether or not our new deck actually works. See... I went about playing one nice uh, duel to see if I can figure out exactly how this deck is supposed to feel. And unfortunately, it's not too much time, but... Oh my god. This hand's actually pretty nice. So, let's go through, use Solar Recharge, get rid of uh, Felis. Actually, probably should have used Realm of Light first. See, uh, each time a card is sent to, uh, from deck to grave, place one Shine Counter on this card. All Light Sworn Monsters gain 100 attack for each Shine Counter on this card. If this card would be destroyed by a card effect, we move two Shine Counters from it instead. Okay. That's uh, once again... Uh, get rid of something. Ah, okay. Well, we will summon you. I will throw Twilight Eraser. And we're gonna attack over. Damn it. Yeah, that's actually fairly nice. Hmm. I have a feeling that leaving that there is going to not be good for me. Let's go to next phase. Once again, Honest is a really good card. Actually, now I think, I think I might be running one. But only really one. Hmm. How many different... Okay, Honest is in Grave. I have currently one, two, three, four, five different Light Sworn uh, in the Grave with different names. Therefore, I could use this to get only... I wouldn't be able... I could get... And I, I'm only running one, so I can't get uh, Dragon Neth even then. But... If I can get a few more into Grave, then Minerva can actually get me a Judgment Dragon. So, let's go with uh, Gareth. We can just attack over this. And we actually were allowed to attack over it. Oracle of the Heralds. Interesting. Okay, Herald of Ultimateness is in play. Yeah, so basically, uh, let's attempt to use Raigeki. Wow, no fairy in hand. This can negate the effects of a um, spell card, trap card, monster effect, and special summon just by sending a fairy from hand to grave. That is cool. Now, see, I can go through, get myself a Monster Born, get myself a lovely Dragoneth, who's going to be a really powerful, considering the fact that I have so many, uh, so many Light Swarms and Grave. Big thing is I'm going to be able to send top three cards in my deck to Grave. Which is going to help me immensely. Which is also going to trigger this effect, too. You send three. And then you send another two. And oh, Damn. 
Let's see what all of these are going to do. So, Twilight Racer allows me a special summon one from hand. That's fine. Ooh, because Raiko went off, I managed to actually get another one. And then Wolf gets to be special summoned because it was uh, taken off from... Um, it was sent... Oh my god. How many... How many cards did I send? Damn. That's actually pretty good. That's all you could do? Well, let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can summon Minerva. And I can use her effect to get one light dragon type monster. From my uh, deck to my hand. And because I have at least four more Light Swarm monsters with different names in Grave, I can Special Summon Judgment Dragon. For the mere cost of a thousand life points, I can destroy all other cards in the field that once returned during your end phase, send the top four cards of your deck to the graveyard. And it also is just 3,000 attack points. Judgment Dragon, on the other hand, allows you to take all cards in your hand, I believe. And graveyard and shuffle them back into the deck. Or it might be everything on field. And it might be all, everything in field and and the grave and shuffle it into the deck. Oh, all face up banished monsters and I believe in the grave go into the deck. Again, I'm kind of screwing or mixing this up with um uh with a Neodal Neodalus I forget, it's an Umi monster. Okay, that was that was definitely a thing. Let's see if we can beat strings with uh, our Twilight Judgment uh, deck, just to see how what is the consistency of this deck. Granted, there is not an incredible amount of consistency because I don't really have too many cards. Like a lot of these cards are at two or one still. So I have 45 cards, and I even have a Sinister Serpent, because, you know, why not? I can send you... Damn. It was, uh... Not my favorite. Okay. We can just move on to the next time. I did not want to draw a Felis. I really didn't want to. Ah, oh, mage power, really? What are you doing? That is not how you use that card. Okay, we can take Sinister Serpent from Grave. Hmm. Once again, kind of screwed, because I don't have... I think I'm set once again. Sinister Serpent. Using Terraforming, I will get Realm of Light to hand. Another card, card D, really? And you're definitely not using it the way you're supposed to. Okay, we can get that back to hand. Oh, yeah, that, that one's going to be, uh, banished. Um, Raiko, definitely going to be good for us. Now we can destroy the card card D. And we can go about uh, sending some cards off of uh, our top of our deck. Okay, I'm not liking one of those being uh, sent... Now, was that, was that a Punishment Dragon, or was that a... Yeah, that was a Punishment Dragon. I don't feel so bad. I only have one Judgment Dragon is a big thing. 
Just to have the Celestia. I really should have kept the uh, Gareth and ditched the Celestia. You have a third card, card D. Why are you not using it for the purpose you're supposed to? Okay, so let's use Chaos Dragon Levianir. What do we want to go about doing? Because we do have a Dark Engrave, we can actually think about what we want to do. So, Chaos Dragon Levianir must first be special summoned from your hand by banishing three light and or dark monsters from your grave. So, if we only banish light, we can we can get a um, monster from grave to summon in defense position. Only dark, we can shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand into deck. Thing is, both light and dark, destroy up to two cards in the field is nice. I think I'm going to go with just light. Because my only dark in here is Punishment Dragon. However, if I if I do like this, I am now one away from being able to actually get Punishment Dragon out onto the field. Hmm, and we can special summon. I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting uh, Minerva. Now, using that, we can stack Minerva, little Celestia. Now we can destroy two cards. Okay. That one. And this one. Yeah, that's fine. Light Swarm Saber is not an immediate, like, amazing thing. Uh, Yeah, let's just go after our opponent. Mirror Force. Ah, damn it. I guess I didn't take the right card. The real sucky thing is the fact that I'm not able to go through and uh, have anything. Like, have anything um, go off of the deck. Oh, not liking that. Hmm. Sucky thing that I... Next turn, I'm going to... I'm going to suffer next turn. I will. Because he gets another one, he's going to be able to deal a bunch of damage to me. And actually, this is just game. I definitely, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure I misplayed by not going with the... Um... Not going with the Gareth from the beginning. However, uh, the Celestia definitely did work much later on. But we could have got to that position much earlier. Uh, much better. Much earlier. If we just had uh, pitched the uh, Celestia first. Oh, this is like the fourth game in a row that I've gotten Realm of Light from the beginning. Or at least terraforming to get into Realm of Light. Okay, we're gonna get you. Ah, Torrential Tribute. Just lovely. That's set three. And we shall pass. Okay, that's quite a lot. Uh, let's just get Light Swarm Barry up. Might as well. Damn, that is quite a lot. Okay, let's get Raiko. Now, if our opponent can't really do anything, then I'm still going to get uh, Gareth. 
And I'm probably just gonna flip Raiko. Now we can flip Raiko. Yep, we're gonna destroy this card. Okay, Aqua Chorus. I have no idea what that does. Okay, what does this do? Uh, I did not want to see that. I wanted to see exactly what it does. Hmm, that's nice. Um, no, I'm perfectly fine. Oh, this can only destroy one monster, so... That sucks a bit. However, we can go into a bunch of different cards. Uh, Michael the Arc... Uh, Arc Light Sworn. Interesting. So, target one card in the field. Banish that target. When this card is destroyed, you can target any number of other Light Sworn monsters in Grave. Shuffle them into the deck. And if you do, you gain 300 life points for each return card. gets to me is, okay, um, how can I actually get into that? Because those are sevens. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I can't get into it. Yeah, I was wondering, like, I can only get into eight. I can get into Angel or Zara. Big thing is Curious, uh, Light Sworn Dominion. Yeah, you can send one card from your deck to Grave, and if a card is sent from your deck to Grave by an effect, send the top three cards of your deck to the Grave. Yeah, let's go into this. Um, yeah, we will. We will send off... Where is Wolf? The Wolf special summons itself. And we're going to send a bunch more. Okay, so, let's see. Hmm. Thing is... Let's go to attack. Thing is, uh, Twilight Cloth can actually save our Light Swarm monsters um, to be destroyed by battle card effects. Which means I do not have to fear Mirror Force. Ah, damn. I'm not really liking that card right now. Yeah, so this card is sent from deck to grave. Yeah. You can activate this effect this turn, the light swan. Uh, yeah, no, that's not actually going to do anything for me. I need to think of the best way of... Famous. Let's go with you. Effects are card now. Go to main phase two. Hmm. So the Twilight Cloth has to be sent to grave from deck in order to be able to protect. Hmm. 
Probably gonna get rid of the Sinister Serpent. Ah, damn, would not have liked to actually have had that card. Sinister Serpent is really just to go about giving us at least something. Um, if something goes to Grave, we can actually go about using it. There's not really much that I can actually gain off of it. Thing is, I can use Celestia. Get rid of Walt. And I can destroy two... Can destroy two cards. And... There was a nice card I seen off of there. Scapegoat. Um, sure, why not? Uh, what is that? Token stampede? Ah, okay. I get it. I probably could have tacked into one of those now that I think about it. That was a poor decision. Okay. Let's go and... It's going to bring it to 4,200. I have to just banish. I'm going to have to banish seven different ones. I don't even know if I have seven. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do this instead. Okay. I'm going to banish you. Hey. So, if I summon you... I can banish you. To summon you. Ah, mirror force. I do believe that may just be it. Yeah, that is almost it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm screwed at this point in time. I have seven here. 
This gets me up to... The thing that's going to be bothering me is the fact that if I had one more... Actually, no, I'm good. Let's summon Raikou Light Sworn Hunter. Let's go to end phase. We'll use... Um, let's go... No, we're gonna use... Honest here instead. Hey, we might as well just go through, get rid of the Realm of Light out of our deck. I will set Sinister Serpent. Ah, uh, damn. These things... Suck. Okay, so we can go about summoning Jane Light Swarm Paladin. I would really like to get a Twilight Swarm right now. Now we can go to end phase. Mystical Space Typhoon. That... Oh, you could have just won. That was stupid. If you just took out Light Sworn Barrier, you would have won. And I... Hmm. I don't really know how I feel on that. I feel as if the AI made a huge mistake by not picking Light Sworn Barrier. We got a Mage Power. That's a wonderful skill drain. That's wonderful. I just... I don't really know what went on or what my opponent was thinking. Let's see if we can uh, do any of these. Better yet, um, okay, so there's stuff in here that we can do. Uh, let's go through and uh, fight off against you. Again, we're going to be using our Twilight, uh, Twilight Judgment deck. See if it still works. I am definitely loving the deck so far. Still, definitely, I definitely need to change some things around. It's still just a uh, first draft of the deck. But I'm pretty sure. Okay. Hmm, let's see. I can get rid of you. Table Kushano. Oh, Realm of Light yet again. So we can Raigaki. Sure. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, that's fine too. I'm just going to go through and summon Jane, Light Sworn Paladin. Ah, damn it, and it's an honest. I've got to admit, well played. Well, at least that means that's not a second honest. 
Hey, Realm of Light. And we will once again try out Jane Light Swarm Paladin. I'm fine. It just means there's nothing to save you. Uh, nothing really good. Okay, that goes to hand. And then that goes into... It's a tuner. I don't very much like that. I guess you don't have anything good either. Ooh, I'm very much liking that idea. So with this, I can get rid of wool because he's useless in my hand and uh we'll just do that after a few more we should be able to completely destroy our opponent with punishment dragon Yeah, that, uh, that was a lot of cards. Having too many of these Twilight Sworn, probably not the best option. Ah, Chaos Dragon <laughs> Levianir. Okay, so let's see. We can banish you. We can banish... Banish you. We can... Uh, banish you and Jane. So now we can summon Chaos Dragon Lavinia. Yep, and then with this we can get ourselves. Yep, we're going to go through and get uh, Lumina, Twilight Swan Shaman. Damn, I put in two, uh, I put in two Jane. Uh, okay, that means I can use, I can use you, I can banish Raiko. In order to get you down. Then, uh, sure, why not? Then I can special summon Punishment Dragon. I, that was a stupid mistake earlier. Then you can get me... You... And I can get you... Okay. Yeah, I don't have the ability to summon that one. <laughs> no. So we can, at this point in time, I can just tribute this, destroy this, or is there a, another way I can do so? I could have gone to Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. Hmm. Or I could just tribute you. And then this should be... As long as I don't mill myself out. Okay, now... Well, technically, now I could go into uh, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. That was one hell of a turn. I went from having how many monsters to basically being able to go through and have 
so many different monsters. My question, though, comes down to... So, we can pay 1,000, shuffle into the decks, all cards in the graveyards, and all face-up banished cards, except Light Swarm Monsters. Once per turn, if your Light Swarm Monsters effect is activated, send the top four cards of your deck to the graveyard. Thing is... Thing is, I can comfortably go to end phase. Thing is, all the Twilight Sworn basically uh, mill off of uh, a, the effect of a Light Sworn. But the only Light Sworn I have is Felis, or regular Light Sworn, and that's not going to do anything, so. No, since the Serpent can stay there. Uh, let's see. Is it going to be a Mirror Force? Nope. Yeah, that... That was one hell of a duel. Let's see if I can do it again. I'm really loving this deck. I just have to figure out exactly how the... Or what's the best setup? Considering there's a lot more cards that I can go about throwing into it, I don't exactly know what the best setup is. Um, first to go. Okay, Raiko's good. Hmm. Oh, once per turn, you can send one Light Swarm monster from your hand to the grave, then target one other Light Swarm monster in your grave, and now it's a hand. Okay, so... Let's go through, use Realm of Light. Then we can use two of these Light Swarm Sanctuaries. So, each time a card is sent from deck to grave... Yeah, well, each instance of that happening, place one shine card or counter on this card. So if a light sworn card would be destroyed by a card effect, you can remove two shine counters instead from your side of the field for each of those light sworn cards. Uh, this is going to be gaining them. This is going to be gaining them. This is going to be gaining them. So I can just set Raiko and well, let's see exactly how this can turn out. As soon as Raiko flips, we're going to have automatic, uh, we're going to have automatic, uh, destruction, uh, prevention. Okay. Um, do we want to, I'm going to say no. Because I'm immediately going to sack it off for Gareth. We can attack with three grand, and then we're going to send three. Which is going to increase the amount of protection we have. Dude, this is so cool. Temple of the Six. Oh, this is... This is gonna be not fun. Right. Oh, okay, fine. Yep, so we can send Felis from hand to grave to get... I'm gonna go with Lumina... Or I could, yeah, let's go with Lumina. So we summon Lumina. B 
beat over our opponent. And then we can go into end phase. Ooh. That is... That's definitely beneficial. There's no way we're going to be uh, losing to Destruction Facts. Oh, and you're going into what? Shen? Oh, oh, and you're going into Giga... Hey, you, you... I thought it was a Synchro for a second. I was, thought I was going with um, Grandmaster. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you are so screwed. This deck is just so much fun. I mean, again, not gonna lie, this deck is just so much fun. Okay. Um, not so bad. We still have time for one more. We've already beaten several different duelist challenges today with this one deck. And I'm pretty sure... At least one of you is uh, not liking the fact that I'm still using the same deck. I just... It's so much fun to use. Though it's really the risk and reward portion of it that's just makes it so much fun to use. Okay. Two, pun uh, two punishment dragons in hand... Well, Realm of Light, because in a 40 card, 45 card deck, I'm not. This is always going into my hand. I don't know why. We can summon you. And attempt to attack it. Ah, Battery Man. I don't actually know whether or not I like that. Okay, fine, Dark Hole. Foolish Burial. With that, we can send Wolf. The thing is, uh, Felis has to be sent by Monster Effect. While Wolf just has to be sent from deck to Grave. Not the best opening I've had, but this is fine. At least this is saving us from milling out. Because, unfortunately, that's the problem with the deck. Is the fact that, oh, I very well can just beat myself to death. By sending every single card I have to the grave for no reason, then it was fun. Okay. So now you're gonna attempt to. Okay, Battery Man Charger, that's uh, much better. And Fuel Cell. And another Fuel Cell. I'm not very happy for that one. Yeah, so you're going to draw two cards off of that. Hmm. The thing is, I do have to just go through and summon Minerva. So I can roll the die and see what I get. Uh, sure. Why not? Portable battery pack. Damn it! Uh, Battery Man is actually really good. 
Battle Fader. Why would you... Yeah, that's it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going right back into that. I didn't have a very good uh, opener. Considering how many cards in my hand were just bricks. But... Our opponent actually had a pretty fun deck. I do like Battery Man. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Nothing. And once again, Realm of Light, but I can't do jack all with it. At the very least, we might as well just bluff our opponent. Ah, oh, micro cell. <laughs> yeah, and he's gonna get rid of all our cards. That's cool. Ooh, yeah, that uh, that helps. Let's summon Minerva. Monster Reborn. Battery Man 9 Volt. We can go into Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. Oh, if this card is special summoned or a level 5 or higher monster is special summoned to your opponent's side of the field, target one special summoned monster your opponent controls, return that target to the hand. You can only use this effect of Black Rose Moonlight Dragon once per turn. That means some of those higher powered monsters that he is going to be trying to special summon all the time are not going to be a thing. That's why I have to go about attacking you. Battery Man Charger, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I'm gonna send you back. Damn, and I can't do it again. Oh, how many different cards do you have? Oh, I am so getting my revenge. <laughs> Revenge time. I even did that thing called thinking. And I still couldn't do it. Okay, so this is definitely a much better... This is definitely a much better hand. Light Sworn Barrier definitely makes this so much better. And Terraforming, which gets me into Realm of Light. Okay, out of 45 cards, I should not be seeing this card so much. But with Light Sworn Sanctuary, I can use Jane. And might as well just use this on Jane. Yeah, you're gonna draw a card, however, I'm gonna be milling cards. Ah, nothing good. Well, as long as I have a light sworn on the field. Attacking me is actually just going to make me stronger. So we can set you. Hopefully bait out an attack. 
Microcell. Ugh. Yeah, you're gonna draw two cards off of that. One off of Microcell, one off of Supply Squad. That's actually... That isn't so bad whatsoever. Ryko and Shire. All of the Haunted, getting back... Okay, 9 Vault. Getting you back, Charger. That's fine. You're gonna get Microcell. And then you're gonna get Fuel Cell. Not to mention, you're gonna get those two back to hand, and probably you're gonna be using Microcell again. Um, yeah, that was stupid. You didn't want to tribute Microcell to send back Jane. That was an idiotic move. You should have did that before. Yeah, you can go back to hand. The thing being, I can attack over you. And then I can go to and summon you into defense. So wish you were a quick effect. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be using Light Swan Sanctuary. Another charger! Getting another fuel cell. And this is just going to get you another fuel cell in the micro cell. So what are you going to be sending back? Oh, this is idiotic. The big thing is whether or not you can deal... You're definitely going to get uh, Microcell away. You're going to put that to hand. And you're not going to do it the second time. Which means I should have the ability to... Get you... I can destroy both of you. You're only going to be able to draw one card off of that. And... What else might I be able to do? I'm probably going to get Shire next turn. But this turn... I'm going to get rid of you. Okay, Battery Man D. Another Supply Squad. You're going to go about getting rid of that in order to put Celestia back to hand. Okay. It's not really going to do you much good. Oh. 
I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, well, once again... I got protection. I'm gonna go 31. And I'm not gonna use Honest. Somehow, if you can go through and get another card in order to beat me. Ooh, Wolf. How many? Oh my god, there's 11 of them on there. These are some powerful monsters. Soul Charge. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this whatsoever. Here's the thing. If our opponent just attacks us, instead of doing the smart thing, that is going and using these two fuel cells. Okay. And then you're going to get back the... F you're going to get back... Okay, yeah, for another fuel cell. Wow. Is that really how you're going to end the game? Let's see. Well, let's use Honest. We won. Victory and revenge. So we went, did one, three here. Uh, yeah, we actually went about doing several of these. 11,000 points, but sadly we're going to be doing that off screen. Have fun, everybody.